Um, yeah, so uh, we were just talking about states and stages and how um, there's a difference between states of consciousness and stages of consciousness and um, or stages of development and um, what I'm trying to tie in is um, also what might be the Christian um, um, correlation to states is uh, what in Vaishnavism is called rasa but um, it is um, if you watch a video there's a there's a video by um, the man from the new church who does a thing called sp uh, Spirit and Life Bible study and one of his videos has a um, it's called Prepared as a Bride and it goes through these what are like Russes, but they're in Christian. Um, so, like we have neutrality in Vaishnavism. Uh, I think it's called like a doorman or something like that in the language of um, the Bible, a doorman. And they they go up through these different things. It's kind of a strange one because how um, I mean you. You have um, the Russes go through. You've got like neutrality. Um, oh no, uh, servitude, servitude, and then neutrality, and then friendship, um, parenthood, and um, and then conjugal. And there, I think that they might work in terms of stages and states. Um, because you can go into a state of um, there in relation to relationship. So um, you have um, your relationship with the Lord. Um, I think they can work in terms of um, spiritual relationships with other people as well. I mean, um, you could look at a guru or someone like that or um, your partner, as is talked about in um, what's interesting in Swedenborg's thing is he talks about conjugal love. One of his books is called Conjugal Love, um, which is this, this one here, Conjugal Love. And um, that's about the love between a man and woman as being the highest... Um, container of um, but yeah and and you also have that in the Vaishnavism in relation to God so um, there can there seems to be like a correlation between um, stages and states and also in terms of personal relationship that there can be different degrees of personal relationship in relation to the Lord um, is like if you look in the in the um, in the stages that were in this comic book, and it's described as as you come through, there's a kind of closeness to the Lord that that progresses. You're kind of getting closer and closer to Him, um, but you can do that in states because like you can um, you can enter into a meditation and like commune with God and um, um, I've made the video on chanting as, um, as a way of doing that um, you can do prayer um, and um, yeah you, you can enter into that um, communing nature <coughs> like that but you could imagine to exist in that state all the time would be to be in that constant communion with the Lord. Um, in Vaishnavism, like they they talk about prem or something, or like a this total um, they have the the state stages going up into um, um, like spontaneous or developing affection. You have like you develop affection or rag and then into um, 
um, then you get barb, which is like a the feeling that goes um, with that, and going up into prem or like um, like ecstatic states of bliss and stuff. But in the same sense, you can talk about the way that you live your life in relation to the Lord, which would be like how you think of it in terms of stage because um, the way that you live your life is also relevant to like say you were living with a um, with a partner or something like that and you really you really loved um, your partner your you could say that your life that you spend with your partner is relative to also the love that you share um, with him or her that the way that you um, the way that you live your life is also a part of the fact that you are together if that makes sense um, so so you can see how stages and states also go up in um, in terms can be explained in a in a personal sense towards your closeness to the Lord in terms of the way that you live your life and also the intensity of the communion that you have with the Lord um, in within um, meditative s states or if um, you're talking about like constant meditation or constant chanting as talked about in Vaishnavism um, to be um, constantly aware of his presence and to always be relating to him, to him. So, um, yeah, that also is relevant and where I, um, because I definitely go for the, um, um, I'm looking more in a Christian um, context and Vaishnavism as well. I mean, I think um, you've kind of got a good, um, but there's other teachers as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's also taken into account in terms of your like states and your stages. And um, um, yeah. Um, Yeah, how, um, and then you've got different types of meditation because you've got more, you've got sort of like meditation on this side and then you've got um, chanting in the middle and then you've got prayer or, and you can also have like conversation sort of, prayer or conversation sort of in, in there as well, um, which is just like a regular, um, conversation with the Lord um, in terms of um, if you do journaling is um, one way to connect to the Lord in terms of um, having that conversation in a transpersonal developmental sense is that you you do your journaling and you, you write but you write always in the consciousness of having a conversation with him um, um, God in the personal form so you go through you know you can journal the things that you've done in your day what's what's the current uh, lesson that you're learning or something like that or, or what people are in your life but you're always developing that consciousness of communication and um, so that's a really good um, thing there and then um, and you can kind of join that with your chanting or something because if you um, you chanting the Lord's name, um, you can go into degrees of more more direct communion in terms of feeling, or um, or you might be sort of chanting and sort of maybe having a conversation at the same time. That sort of seems like a a strange thing, but I. I find that um, useful because as long as you're still in communication with the Lord, um, even though you're chanting and at the same time, 
um, you're chanting and you're kind of as it just seems as long as you have that um, communion with him and his um, consciousness and developing that relationship all the time um, and yeah so um, that sort of joins the two things together because you have a constant communion with the Lord and then you have the way that you live your life with him including him in, in your life um, so yeah that's how you can see that um, states and stages coming together in um, uh, personal personal um, context but yeah yeah so um, that's really good I hope you've enjoyed this <laughs>